Our next stop finds us in Sutter Creek, which is in Amador, Amador, Amador County, California. And here's a news rack, which you very rarely see, for the Ledger Dispatch. Now, now for some reason, I don't have internet up here, even though I do have cell service. I don't have 5G and I don't have 4G LTE. So I'm going to just kind of walk here and I'll dub in the, some stuff or I'll dub or text in about Sutter Creek. So here's, I'm going to walk up and down downtown. I love these old buildings. I won't film them all. I'll just uh, film a few of them. Here is the Sutter Creek Inn, which is now a and b here in Sutter Creek, Amador County, California. Here is the Native Sons Hall. It's called uh, the Sutter. So here you go. And I'll talk about it now. I'm going to film this out of order, but I'm going to edit it in order. You just saw a little bit of the Native of the natives, goddamn, tra always traffic. Native Sons of the Golden West building. This is the Native Sons Hall. It was uh, the first the building here was uh, built in 1851. Uh, the Liberty Pole, um, I, and I'll you, you'll see it here now. Town it marked the center of town. Town was incorporated in 1854. In 1865, much of the building burned. It was purchased in 1875 by Giovanni Vicini, who refer, uh, remodeled and added, done in 1885. The um, fire of 1888 damaged the second story. He opened up a hotel in 1893, sold it to E.B. Moore, and that's why you see more right here in the sidewalk, which I love stuff like this. Um, it was the Sutter Creek Hotel. The um, Native Sons bought it in 1915 and use it to this day. So we'll see what's next. The building on the left is the Mason's Hall built in 1865. And the building on the right is now the Hotel Sutter. And I will cross the street here and talk about it when I get there. You'll see this not in filming order, but in the right order. I should have done this in Jackson and in Mariposa. And I didn't think of it, but I did now. So here you go. I just took a couple of stills of these nice ladies on their camera, on their phone camera. And I, of course, managed to work and handed them my card for my YouTube channel. So anyway, here is the Sutter Creek Auditorium, built in 1928. It looks like it's also the Veterans Hall, and I suspect that the Sutter Creek City Hall operates out of here, because there's a payment box. Now, I'm gonna walk up here. You could tell the very old fire station here at the Sutter Creek does have its own PD I don't know how many units they have but I always like this type of stuff and I like the cool insignia of the bear of the California grizzly bear they've all since been killed but and this Ford uh, it seems to be that when my brother Charlie was still active, that his uh, department got one of these with all-wheel drive. And he said it was a pretty good drive, a driving driving car. It's just, he's, he's like 6'2 or 6'3, and he didn't really fit in it. And so, anyway, I'm going to cross the street here. Here's yet another old brick, surprising building. And I'm going to cross the street and we'll see what's next. Here's a few more of the older historic buildings in downtown Sutter Creek. Yeah. 
The Masons appear to be still active here. This is the Henry Clay Lodge number 95 from the Sutter Creek and Volcano Consolidated Lodges. This building used to be the Bank of America. You see the, uh, if, it, if it shows up, you'll see the Bank of America old insignia and it's an after hours a deposit box. So here you go. This green building I'm in front of, and let's hope that I filmed it, but if not, here we go, is the Brignoll building uh, built in 1858. Bartholomew Brignoll had this built and his family ran the general store until 1944. So we're almost at the end of the uh, uh, historic downtown here. I'm going to have a sit because I'm beat and you'll see what's next. Now this building in the middle is either city, old city hall or an old bank building or both. So here you go. Okay. Here's a little closer shot of the Sutter Creek Inn, a B&B. &B. And they do have vacancies. I've been as sharp to stay in an old building uh, uh, like this. Oh, of course. This is the Buffalo Bre uh, Emporium Breakfast and Lunch. It certainly is old, but it is really sharply maintained and painted. I like the color. Gold for the gold rush in California. There you go. A guy just mentioned my San Francisco Seals Ebbets Field flannel jersey. You can see it Seals. I think I uh, mentioned this. Here is the World's Fair or the San Francisco Ep Exposition 1939 patch. It's why Treasure Island was uh, built. And here you go. I think I uh, mentioned it on, uh, earlier. If I didn't, you'll see this. If I did, you probably won't. Our next stop of the day finds us in Amador City in Amador County, California. Amador City is the sm least populated incorporated city in the state. The Caltrans sign, and you know historically <laughs> accurate Caltrans is, and that's a satire for those of you who don't understand, who, who may have missed it even from uh, Mr. I don't understand subtlety here. Um, it says 150, but of course, I don't have a 4G LTE or 5G here, so I'm not able to Wikipedia this, and I will, and I'll... Um, text in the uh, the population if I find it and it seems to me but I'm not positive as we get down a little closer here that uh, here's a shot of the Amador Hotel that was uh, built in 1855 I don't really see a historical plaque anywhere but I will, when I cross the street, again, I'm gonna film this in one order and I'm going to edit in a different order. So the information on the building is right after the shot of the building. So here you go. So this is not a very big town. And we're, um, we're actually, we're almost, we're, we've walked to downtown. So there is uh, two stops up here and then we'll cross the street. The Imperial Hotel here has a plaque that I will probably walk over and talk about. But I'm also going to just scroll roughly over here to this uh, building where the post office now is. And I, uh... I've, I've talked about my friend John Wise, a friend that I just haven't met yet, who does uh, travels w uh, with a wise guy that I've talked about that you probably should be subscribing to if you like this type of type of content. Um, has been going to ghost towns and very small towns in Kansas. 
as he's done other places as well. Um, and I made the comment on his, one of his uh, vlogs that when your town loses its post office, you're pretty much done. So here's the Imperial Hotel. It was finished in September of 1879. It was a mercantile store. Um, it was, a, and then it, it became a hotel and a boarding house. It was in operation until 1927. The walls taper. They're 12 bricks th thick at the base and four bricks thick at the top, at the roof. And the building was renovated in 1968. So we're going to walk up the other side here. We're pretty much almost done here in Amador City. I'll talk a little bit or not, you'll see, and we'll see what's next. I wasn't able to see anything about this old brick building, but you could tell it's brick and you could tell it's old. So we're pretty much done here in Amador City. And I don't know what else we're doing, but we're doing something and we'll see what's next. Our next stop of the day, about 2.30 in the afternoon on Sunday, November the 6th of 2022, finds us in the hamlet of El Dorado in El Dorado County, California. This is about four miles south of Placerville on California 49, which is California 49, as I've said in the past, because it goes through gold country and it's 49 uh, highway 49 numbered specifically for the 49ers not that sorry shit football team but the the uh, European and other invaders settlers prospectors whatever you want to call them I vary in language that I use depending on how surly I feel but um this uh, little hamlet was, let me again, I gotta do all this again. Founded about, the post office was Mud Spring in 1851. It changed name to El Dorado in 1855. I've seen incorporation dates of either 1856 or 1850, uh, uh, Jesus dude. 1855 or 1856 here is the uh more modern firehouse i like the old school uh script on the windows water tender and engine number 46. so as we're gonna walk up here the town unincorporated in 1857 and it remains unincorporated to today so i'm gonna walk up a bit more and see what's next. Here is the Masonic building in El Dorado, in El Dorado County, California. 
which I'll talk about next. The Masonic building here was uh, finished in 1862. A fire in 1923 burned, uh, burned down most of town. This building was rebuilt using a lot of the salvageable bricks and it was reopened in 1925. Here's uh, Poor Red's, a barbecue steak, chicken, and ribs. And I like these old uh, painted advertisements. Let me get out of the way here. That's okay. Go ahead. Uh, I like these old uh, painted uh, advertisements that get re refurbished, repainted. And here's the old uh, building. It doesn't have a name, but we'll see what's next. It seems to me that there used to be the tricolor red, white, and blue L on this uh, building here, reds, signifying the Lincoln Highway. I've seen it before, and it seems to me on the day draw on the day ride last year, when I ro shit when I rode through here, it was still there, but it's not there now. So I think we're just about done here. I'm gonna cross the street and take one or two more quick clips, and then we'll be out of here.